Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew. I hope you're having a great day. And in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the custom payment providers feature within high level and how exactly it works, what it's going to look like for you and what's going to look like for developers. Essentially, developers can use the app marketplace to create and develop custom payment integrations between any payment providers and high level now, which gives high level a huge leg up compared to other CRMs because now it can essentially integrate with almost any payment provider. Now, if you haven't used the Go High Level app marketplace yet, I'd highly recommend you do so. It's just at marketplace.gohighlevel.com. And here's where you can see all of the regular marketplace apps that developers can create to give you additional features within high level. But today we're going to be talking specifically about payment provider apps. You can actually see one in there, even if you're not a developer, which is Razorpay. Razorpay is a integration that was created specifically for payments in India. Razorpay is a separate company that, you know, created a payment provider to actually work with. And using the Go High Level app marketplace, we've had developers that have created an app to allow you to use Razorpay within your own high level sub accounts. Now I'm going to give kind of an overview of the developer side of things and the regular user side of things just so you kind of understand how this feature works. Essentially, in the Go High Level app marketplace, you can either be just a user or you can create a developer account. Now, if you have a developer account, you can either sign up over on the right hand side or if you already have one, you're already logged in. And you'll have the ability to look at your app dashboard, testing, and your own apps right at the top. Now, if we click My Apps, I have one created here, which is called EasyPay. Now, EasyPay is an example of a different payment provider, which let's say for testing purposes, I want to integrate with the high-level platform because I want to use that instead of Stripe or one of the other payment provider solutions that are already in the platform. If you're a developer and you want to develop this type of solution, then in your app marketplace, you can just create a new app, give it a name, distinguish if it's going to be a private app or a public app, and then also designate the distribution type. And once you create that app, you're going to see a screen like this. Now, there's already a ton of public documentation that Hilo has created for us that you can access right within the change log, where you can view all of the different public APIs and exactly go through all of the different steps that you need to go through in order to create one of these apps. Now, I could spend a while explaining how to go through creating a brand new integration using the API keys and everything, but I understand that most of you are probably just regular users and want to understand exactly what this feature is and how it can benefit you. So to give a high level overview, if we go back to the app marketplace, you have the ability to turn on and off lots of different permissions. And if you're going to create a payment provider app, then all you have to do is click payment providers on the left hand side. And then you can see exactly what payment provider you're going to be integrating with this app. Now there can only be one per app. So for this one, I've created the easy pay one. If we click the three dots, we can click our view details. And these are all the details that I inputted whenever I created the app itself. You can specify things like the name, the description, the type of payment methods it's going to take, and you can also upload a payment provider logo. Now that's just the first step of getting these payment providers set up. There's obviously lots of testing and development that has to go into actually finishing out this type of integration, but it's going to make sense for all the developers out there. You also obviously have access to lots of different settings within your app itself. You can look at the pricing, the earnings, reviews your app has received, and all sorts of things like that. But really, I just wanted to let you know that now we have the ability to add in these types of payment providers and once they are public and launched, for example, like Razorpay is, they will be available within your sub account or however you've distinguished it to be distributed. For example, if any of you go into any of your sub accounts and go to payments and then integrations, you can check any payment integration screen. If you click search for more, you'll actually see Razorpay, which was one of the white label payment provider integrations that was developed using the app marketplace. You can see it right here at the bottom. We can install it. We can set it as our default payment method, as opposed to Stripe, PayPal, Authorize, or NMI. And by doing this, we can really tailor this business, this sub account to whatever market that we're serving. Just like any other payment provider, you can install and uninstall any of your white label payment providers pretty easily. You'll see for any of the ones in the app marketplace, if you click install, it will send you to a marketplace where you can click install and then designate which sub account it's going to be going to. Once you select your sub account, then it's going to go through a process of authenticating and then redirecting you in order to actually install the product onto your sub account. Now, once an app is developed and installed on a sub account, you will now see a connect button next to it within your payment integrations page. If you can't find it, then just click the search for more button. And when you do that, you can click connect, which will then take you to this screen where you can actually manage your integration and create your account with the payment provider and get it set up with your high level sub account. As most payment providers you work with, whether it's EasyPay, Razorpay, Square, anything like that, you will have a key ID and a secret key for testing and for live credentials. And once you input those, you can connect it to your account. And if you ever want to go back to using something like Stripe, PayPal, NMI, or Authorize.net, you can just uninstall any of those apps from the top right or remove all of its features from your accounts. And you can just click on install. It's as easy as that. So all in all, if you're a developer and you don't have a developer account on the marketplace yet, I'd recommend going to marketplace.gohighlevel.com so you can create your developer account and look into seeing if you can create a payment provider that will best suit your needs. And if you're a regular high level user that's using a payment provider, but maybe not happy with the way that Stripe, Authorize.net, NMI, any of those payment providers that are default to high level work, 
then maybe look into looking at a developer partner or trying to figure out yourself in order to build a new integration with the payment provider that you would like to work with. Again, this is a pretty niche update, but this gives High Level a huge edge over lots of other CRMs because they can now essentially work with almost any payment provider on the internet, which is really cool. If you have any questions, concerns, or want to see the public documentation, head to the change log, head to the documentation tabs, and you'll be able to see all the different information regarding this feature specifically. I hope this gave you a bit of an insight into the custom payments integration feature right within High Level. I hope you found this helpful, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.